Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us for a new month. Last month we had a great time learning about God's promises. And this month our theme is challenge accepted. Great sports moments tend to involve people who accepted a big challenge, one that required courage and the ability to keep going. So this month we will have fun using sports to learn about ways that we can say yes to challenges bravely. Jesus accepted many challenges, and the stories we know about him can help us walk through whatever we are facing. At the end of this month, we want to be able to say, Jesus takes care of us. Jesus shows us the truth. Jesus helps us when we're tempted, and Jesus understands our challenges. We have a memory verse this month. Our new memory verse is 1 John 5, 5. It says, who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So practice those memory verses. Let's jump into some singing. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. Faster? Yes. Let's okay. do it. I'm all wrapped, wrapped up, up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to sing Yes, Jesus Loves Me with the help of our little helpers. Yeah. The blue bunny and the pink bunny. Yeah. One, a two. A one, two, three. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Just a month he can be long. Day a week and here we come. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. But the Bible tells me so. Good job. to see if your arm was feeling better. Aw, thanks so much for calling and checking in on me. I'm getting better. The doctor said one more week that I get to take this cast off. It's a bit annoying, but I know it's helping me. That's great to hear, Callie. That must have hurt a lot. Hey, you want to play a quick challenge before you go out? For sure, I'm always up for a challenge. Great. Can you guess what that sound is? Hmm, I have no idea. Is it a train? Is it a boat? Well, it does have something to do with the ocean. Oh, you only have ten seconds left. Come on, give me a hint. Okay, I guess I can give you a clue. <laughs> yes, it's an animal. Oh my, I Two don't have left. any idea. Um, a whale? Yay! You got it! That was an awesome guess. Well, that was a fun challenge. Guess I gotta run. Bye-bye. Are you ready for today's Bible story? Scream out! Yay! It's time for our Bible story. Today we will learn another amazing story about Jesus. Yay! 
Jesus, in this story, went up to a high mountain with three of his friends. Which ones? He went with Peter, James, and John. Those were his disciples. Exactly. They were really close friends of Jesus who followed him everywhere. They went really high on the mountain, and then something really interesting started happening to Jesus. First of all, his clothes began to shine. Shine? Yes, shine. His clothes were glowing. No one had ever seen that before. Were they surprised? They were. Then it got even more interesting. They heard a voice from the heavens. The voice was God. What did God say? God spoke in a loud voice so that Peter, James, and John could hear. God said, this is my son. Listen to Jesus. Oh, wow. Then Jesus' friends knew the truth about Jesus. They had always known there was something special about Jesus. Jesus could do all kinds of amazing things, and he knew so much about God. They now knew that Jesus is God's son. No wonder. I'm back, friends, and I have one more for you to guess. Can you guess what that was? It's Janet. It's so interesting how we can smell, hear, and sometimes see, and still be unsure about what it is. One time, we lost power here in New York City, where I live. All the electricity stopped working. No lights, no heat, just for a few minutes. I couldn't see a thing. I suddenly started to feel something furry brush against my leg, and I got so scared. The lights came back on, and guess what? It was just my dog. The light showed me the truth. Jesus is like the light because Jesus shows me the truth. I hear stories from the Bible about Jesus. I learn more about God and how God wants me to live. Like, I know God wants me to be kind to everyone because Jesus was kind to everyone. I know that God wants me to forgive people because Jesus did the same. And I know that I can talk to God because Jesus talked to God all the time. So friends, I gotta run. Thanks for dropping in today and growing with me. Bye friends! So today we're talking about telling the truth, right? And that Jesus tells us the truth. So I have these two jars. You see them? It's pretty dark in there. But the sign in front says, oh, surprise inside. The problem is only one of them has a surprise inside. The other one is empty. So how do you think we can figure out which jar has something hidden inside it? Can we tell by just looking at it? Hmm. What other ways do you think we could tell? What are ways that we can figure out if something is hidden inside? Well, I have an idea. This jar over here is labeled Jesus. Because Jesus shows me the truth. So I'm going to add Jesus to these jars and see if it reveals anything. Hmm. Let's see, can we see anything happening? Oh, are they getting lighter? Are they lightening up? Wow, look at that. Jesus is revealing the truth. So we've got our two jars, right? This one is empty. No surprise in it. This one, however, has two little dinosaurs. It's got a purple one and a blue one in there. So Jesus revealed the truth. When we added him to the equation, he brought light to the situation and revealed which one was telling the truth. This jar was telling the truth. It did have a surprise hidden inside. But this one was lying. And we could only tell when we added Jesus to it.
Let's pray. God, thank you so much for showing us the truth, even when sometimes it's hard to hear. I pray that you help our hearts always seek your word and your truth, God. We love you and we pray all this in your son's name. Amen. See you guys next week.